Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video. Okay, I want to update you on Baidao just quickly. So last night we talked about the fact that we were expecting Baidao to go down. Okay, and I just want to address something quickly. People all the time seem to think I'm able to manipulate these markets or something. We've got this uh, person here, Alexander Vidoljevic. And he says it fell in price because you told your people to sell and now you're bragging how you predicted the price. Okay, I then went on to let him know I have less than 30 members in my group, dummy. Okay, so I'm not here to manipulate the price. I don't have that kind of power. I'm not a whale or anything like that. All right, guys, um, I've got less than 30 people in my Telegram group at the moment. If you watch the ad in my video, I clearly say that for the first 100 people, um, I'll be doing a free Telegram invite. All right, guys, the first 100 people, sorry, that actually go on to Parabolic and buy something. All right. So I don't have that many people in the group and they're not all, you know, whales either, okay? So I didn't make the price go down, all right, guys? Um, if you go back and watch yesterday's video, you'll clearly see there's three different posts um, or two different posts that I posted earlier on in the day to say what I thought would happen, okay? When it actually broke out at this level, one person asked me, should I sell or what? And I told him, you know what? I would sell and wait, all right? That's one person. And believe me, they're not a whale. At least I don't think they are anyway. But, you know, after that, we saw the price drop. Okay, so this was based on T8. This is not based on me manipulating the market. Okay, I doubt has been going up and down all week. All right. Um, yeah, all week since last week. So, you know, please don't accuse me of manipulating the market. It's, it's just ridiculous. Some of the things people say in these Telegram groups and on comments and stuff like that really does annoy me a little bit, to be honest. But I try not to let it bother me too much. All right, guys, because... I know what I'm doing. I know that, um, you know, I can sleep at night, all right? So anyway, we can see that Baidao came down. We were looking at it yesterday, we thought that it may even get a bounce at this level. That did happen, all right? But it's also rolled over back down to this next level of support, okay, that I wasn't looking at before. But seeing as we got the bounce down, might as well put a line there and, sit and use that as a level of support. But um, my ultimate target, target was all the way down here, okay? So, um, you know, an announcement or, um, you know, the token burn or whatever. A lot, there's lots of things that could change um, the direction of this at the moment. But we just have to go with uh, what's happening right before our eyes. All right, guys, so I expect this to go down a little bit further. I shouldn't even say a little bit, should I? I mean, that, that's a lot further down, isn't it? Down to 0 0.018 cents, approximately. All right, guys, so that's what I'm looking at with buy down. Now, we also did a video talking about core. Now, if you don't know what core is, it's C uh, Vault dot finance. Okay, I did do a video on that, and I'll probably put a card up there, so up up here somewhere, so you can uh, uh, see that. You can have a look and see why I think that this has a lot of potential, even potential uh, to be the next year in finance. All right, or similar to. Okay, now there's a lot of uh, fundamentals and tokenomics on this that should you should find interesting if you watch the video. But looking at it uh, right now, today, okay, we saw a peak of roughly $9,800. And ever since, over the weekend, it's just been consolidating um, in a downward trend, you know, and we've got this downward sloping resistance uh, that's just formed. We have this descending triangle, and it looks like it's about to break out of this. Now, I did front run this, and I bought a couple of core tokens. All right, guys, so I'm hoping that I'm right. Otherwise, you know, I stand to lose, you know, quite a lot of money. But, um... Yeah, I'm expecting to get a breakout over here. Now, the safe thing to do is to buy the breakout, all right? Um, it could even break out and then retest and then take off. But um, what we wouldn't want to see is low volume. It come out and then roll, roll over and just roll all the way down like that. So that's what I'm looking at with Core Finance. Um, if you look at uh, YFI, okay, Yearn Finance, okay, we saw it had obviously a massive up, um, uptrend, and um, I actually pointed out this potential large head and shoulders in the group, okay, and obviously you can see that has played out. It did break the neckline, all right, and I expect a lot more downside for Yearn Finance, okay. So if you were to do a measured move, and these don't always play out exactly, but you would go from the top of the head to the neckline and then you would kind of bring it 
that line down to the net line and you had a, you would have a measured move that comes all the way down to four thousand three hundred dollars at the previous support and resistance levels all right guys so there's potential for that to come all the way down now people that would have liked yearn finance would definitely in my opinion like core okay so perhaps people will take their money out of something like that and put it into something like this all right because this to me in my opinion is the next year in finance like i said you can go and watch my previous video and find out why i think that all right uh, another one that we're looking at the group uh, in the group at the moment is ban vault okay now i don't want to shield this at all because this could be a pump and dump okay so um you know i'll put a very small amount of money in this and i'm actually losing at the moment but you know sometimes <laughs> sometimes you take a risk and it pays off sometimes you take a risk and it doesn't all right guys but definitely took a risk on this but it's a calculated risk all right and you know uh, I, I love to see this pattern when it comes over is that could have been a potential head and shoulders type pattern that could have fell all the way down but it didn't we got that large uh, candle over here with a little bit of volume okay and now it's fighting against this resistance but if it breaks out of there i think that we could have a nice move to the upside now the first target would be this level obviously the previous high all right and that alone we're looking at if it was to break out we're looking at a 50 plus percent move okay now if this is a, a one wave okay and then we've got an a b c uh d e correction actually what i can see if we say that's a b c d okay let's say a b c d okay and then we get that impulse to the upside and now we could see uh, potentially a wave three and um, wave three is normally the biggest wave i'm always saying that on this channel all right so if we did get a wave three and we do break this level i reckon there's very you know it could we could see a 20k 15 20k core finance all right or i keep calling it core finance it's c vault dot finance okay well, we could see a 15 to 20k core all right so yeah i mean let's hope that that plays out for my sake <laughs> and the others that are actually buying into this in my group all right guys so um yeah i'm, I'm thinking that this could potentially um you know make us lots and lots of money but um yeah i could be wrong at the end of the day so don't fomo into this based on that please do your own research like i said i have got a video on this um so there's a little bit of research provided for you if you go back and watch that all right um yeah i mean make your own decisions guys you know don't follow me just because i'm a youtuber being a youtuber doesn't qualify me to give financial advice i'm not a financial advisor all right guys so just bear that in mind all right like subscribe and comment also go over onto twitter and follow me over there at crypto lightsaber with a l y t s a b e r and i'll see you guys in the next video if you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself we have a new clothing brand called Parabolic. This is a brand dedicated to the crypto space. I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time. And we're using the lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colors, range of different products, all right? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something if you send me a message what i'll do is i'll send you a free invite for the new telegram group which will be a paid telegram group okay after that okay so the first 100 people you will get a invite sent to you for free all right even if you buy something as small as a mug you will get that just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember the trend is your friend